Hi everyone, this is my first video where I'm just going to speak. I'm just going to grab a microphone and speak. It's uh, just going to be my thoughts laid out bare. I'm not going to do any ma major editing afterwards. Um, some people might call this rambling, but let's see how it goes. So what's been on my mind recently? Well, about four weeks ago I got a new job um, working at a university, helping students. Now help, helping the actual students is fine, but the job has a lot more to it than just that. I think they kind of a little bit tricked me what the, in, the, in the interview what this job was really about. Um, a, lot, a lot of the work involves me doing some office work as well, like I have to ring students and reply to their emails. I have to do bookings, I also have to fill out forms and reflections and everything else. Uh, the actual seeing the students part I can bear, but everything else that come, goes along with it, oh, I just don't like. Now, I've done a similar job before, but that job just involved helping students. They had a full-time worker whose only job was to do all the bookings, do all the student uh, contacts and arranging the sessions and finding out when they're free and so on. But this new job of mine, I have to do all of that. It's almost like two roles, and quite frankly, I hate it. I can't believe that anybody would want to do this, honestly. Um, I know after hearing from other workers that four people have left in recent times, and I know the university is not in very good shape. Um, over the last six to 12 months, we've had a, quite a few changes of upper management. Um, lots of people have been leaving. There's been like voluntary redundancies and all that sort of stuff. Oh, I just don't want to be there anymore. And I've got to do something in 2018 about it. Um, what this job has taught me is that I don't want to trade my time for money anymore. Sure, I go out there and work a number of hours and they give me some money. But what I'm really letting them do is letting them dictate to me what I do with my life. I'm trading my life away for a few extra bucks and I don't want to do that anymore. I think it's a bad way to live my life. And quite frankly, it's not like they're the best company in the world. To, they're not the best university in the world. I've got no real and I'm not, I'm not strapped for cash as such. So I've got to stop doing this. Because I'm a man of my word, I'm going to finish my contract. My contract ends in uh, this end of February, I believe. So I've got another two months about. Not looking forward to it, but just get it done and dusted and get it out of the way. I'm thinking that probably after that, I don't want to get another job. I just want to do stuff and find my own way. And that's exactly what I've been trying to research over the last week or so. so I've been looking into investing. Now, I've got lots of cash just sitting in a, a high interest uh, account. High interest, that's the operative word. It's not very high interest. It's high for the current economic environment. It's 2.87%. But basically, I've got some cash just sitting around. So I decided that I'm going to invest some of it. I'm not an investor. I've never really looked into investing, but it's about time I do, I think. I need to get some economic freedom here, from a financial freedom. So I found this company called Direct uh, Direct Money. Uh, it's Some would describe it as a peer-to-peer -peer lending uh, company. That is where they have some money and they lend it out to various people. But instead of my money being used to just fund, say, one or two loans, my money is invested in direct money, and then they use all that pooled resource to fund every loan. So it basically means that every investor is invested in every loan. So it's very diversified. That, that means if a single uh, person defaults, a single customer defaults, it won't hurt me directly. It'll only knock off a slight amount from everybody's investment. So it's had an average returns over the last uh, two and a half years of about 7.4%, I believe. I don't know how risky it is. It sounds fairly reasonable. I'm going to give it a go. I've invested $10,000, the minimum amount, and yeah, I'll see how it goes. Because it's because your money is loaned out, you actually uh, can't just withdraw it. I couldn't just dump $10,000 in today and then withdraw $10,000 next week. You're, you have to withdraw it over a 36 month period. It's because obviously the money's tied up, isn't it? So, and they don't want just people going in and out, in and out without, they need some sort of consistency in their funding. So I understand that. So you can withdraw it. I can withdraw it out over a 36 month period, which is fine. 
I've also decided to uh, invest some money in the stock market. Now, I had a look at buying actual individual stock, but then realized that I don't have a clue. I have no idea which stock to invest in. I could take people's advice, but then who knows if the advice is good or not. So I decided to invest in an index fund. Now, that's pretty much what Warren Buffett recommends or what he would do with lots of his money. Uh, an index fund is basically um, a fund that involves buying lots of shares from a particular uh, market and it's much safer than buying individual stock in that the it's hard for me to explain because I don't know finance very well but basically it, instead of buying a single stock you're buying 300 stock like 300 of the best Australian stock or whatever and so it follows the market very uh, very well and it's less prone to just crashing like if one company if one company goes bankrupt so what? You still got the other 299 companies or whatever. There's a whole bunch of different index stock like that follow different indices. Um, so I've tried. I've invested in high yield Australian uh, Australian shares. I guess the high yield part means uh, they have high dividends, meaning every quarter they'll pay me a certain number of cents per unit that I own. So I invested the. I've invested say five thousand dollars in that the minimum amount. Uh, this is through the company Vanguard, by the way. It's one of the most famous uh, investment firms around the world. Um, I've also invested uh, in their uh, international shares fund, which is com- which it would be companies like Amazon and Facebook and Apple and so on. They do all the management of it, so I have to pay them a fee, which turns out it's not it's a re- fairly reasonable. I think it's point nine percent. Well, I think it's reasonable. It's not 2% anyway, so it seems fairly good. And uh, they manage whether they buy Apple stock or Amazon stock or how, what percentage of all that. So I let the investors do, uh, sorry, I let the fund manager do that and I just get a return. Sure, it can, it's prone to volatility, like the market can go down. But from what I've heard and seen on YouTube and so on, so what? If you buy 3,000 units in a particular fund and the price goes down, so what? It's not realized until, they call it realized and unrealized returns. It's only realized when you sell that stock. So if my 3,000 units is worth $10,000, say, and then the market crashes and now it's only worth $5,000, doesn't matter. Only if I sell when it's low would that matter. If I wait another year or two years and three years until the market regains, then my stock will be back up to its normal, back up to its original value or worth more or whatever. It's a long-term It's a long-term exercise and all the famous investors, all the big investors, they say the same thing about playing the stock market. Patience wins. You have to be patient. The people who lose at the stock market are the impatient ones. So for example, if I buy some stock and the price goes down and I think I'm losing my money and so I sell, well, I do lose my money, don't I? But if you play it out, if you play five to 10 years, then you on on average, you're going to gain more money than you started with, aren't you? I mean, that's how the markets work. They fluctuate. And every so often you're going to have, it's going to go down and every so often it's going to go high. So you have to, you have to stick it out for the long run. And that's what I'm planning to do. There's also this thing called, uh, I think it's called dollar cost averaging. Now, what that means is that every month I put in the same amount of money worth of uh, stock or units or whatever into my funds. So if I've got three funds or four funds, each one of them I'm going to put $100, say, every month into. So when the market's high, maybe $100 only buys 50 units. And just say the market crashes or goes down, and now I can for that $100 I can buy 100 units. So if every month I keep buying $100 worth of units, then ultimately it'll average out. So I'll get more when the market is low, I'll get less when the market is high, but on average it'll be, it'll work out. So that's what I'm planning to do. I'm not a professional. It's a bit of an experiment. I'll tell you how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully my money's not going to all disappear. I don't think it can. Well, never say never, but I don't think I'm, I'll, I'll ultimately will make some money. I think I'll make more than the bank. And that's my goal.
I've also been looking into Amazon. Lots of uh, YouTube entrepreneurs seem to uh, tout the benefits of Amazon. Now, Amazon has only recently arrived in Australia and it's not 100% open to sellers yet. It's um, only open by invitation only. I applied yesterday. I just filled in some basic details like name and phone number and so on. And they replied within a couple of hours saying that they want me to complete a survey with a bit more information like website and all that. I don't have a website because I'm planning to make a company to sell stuff on Amazon. So I just put not applicable or whatever. Hope that's not going to be to my detriment. And what I hear on YouTube is that everybody uses this thing called F, I think it's FBA, Fulfillment by Amazon. Now that's not in Australia yet. So that what Fulfillment by Amazon means is that you can store, you can like, um, how can I put this? You can buy your stock from say China, from a Chinese factory and then get that factory or get your supplier to send it directly to Amazon and Amazon will warehouse it and distribute it and all the rest of it. You don't actually have to see any stock. It's a really, sounds like a really good system. You just pay a fee, I believe. Now, if you don't have that, that would mean that I'd have to order stock. Say I order a thousand stock from a factory in China and keep it in my little apartment here, which is not going to happen. <laughs> and then I have to send it out using Australia Post, which is hugely expensive I believe it's not a very good it's not very efficient and it's not a very efficient way to send stuff it'll be wasting my money and I'm sure Amazon's network would be far cheaper to run and operate so um, I can't wait until the FBA side of things comes I'm not going to do it until that happens quite frankly because I'm not going to send out to individual customers I don't have the time to write out uh, any address stickers and labels and all the rest of it I don't want to do that anyway ultimately for 2018 I want to find my own way in the financial world I don't now I've never been fond of money in that I've probably accused people of uh, focusing too much on money and maybe it sounds like that I'm focusing too much on money here but for me it's all about freedom I don't want to have to go out and exchange my time for money and get told what to do and you know you must go do this you must go do that and here's some money for your for doing that right it's basically I've lacked I'm losing it's me trying to regain control of my life so that's what's going to happen in 2018 I don't think I'm going to accept any jobs I'm just going to try to get something happening whether it's on YouTube or Amazon or my investments or a mix or a mix of all three I think that's probably what's going to end up being then so be it okay well thank you for listening to my ramblings they were probably indeed ramblings it's early on a Christmas morning my family are still sleeping uh, I'm not going to edit this as I said I'm just going to put it up on YouTube well I'm doing some minor quality editing but that's it I'm going to dump it on YouTube uh, it probably sounds terrible I don't care honestly I don't have the time on Christmas to uh, do anything with it anyway have a great Christmas I hope everything is uh, goes well for you uh, drive safely if, if you have to go anywhere and enjoy time with your family and friends thank you